Today, we're going to talk about fractions. There are th three different types of fractions. We have the proper fraction, where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. The improper fraction, the numerator is the same or larger than the denominator. And our mixed number, the mixed number has a whole number part and a proper fraction part. Mixed number to improper fraction, we multiply the whole number to the denominator, and then we add the numerator. We're going to always keep the original denominator. When adding or subtracting mixed numbers, we're going to change any mixed number to an improper fraction. Then we'll find the least common denominator. We'll change the fractions into equivalent fractions using the least common denominator. And then we'll add or subtract the numerators while keeping the denominator. You have to remember to always simplify your answer by reducing it to the lowest terms. This means dividing out any number that the numerator and denominator have in common. And always be sure to read your instructions to determine if the answer should be a simplified fraction, which is a proper or improper fraction, or a mixed number. Let's take a look at an example of subtracting fractions. Here in our example, we have 9 and 2 thirds minus 6 and 4 fifths. So the first thing we have to do is change the mixed numbers to improper fractions. So to change 9 and 2 thirds to an improper fraction, we'll multiply the whole number times the denominator, 3, and then we'll add 2. Again, we're going to keep the original denominator of 3. So going back to order of operations, we have 9 times 3 is 27. 27 plus 2 is 29 over the original denominator of 3. For 6 and 4 fifths, we multiply 6 times 5 and add 4, keeping the original denominator of 5. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 plus 4 is 34 over the denominator of 5. So now our new problem is 29 thirds minus 34 fifths. So the next thing we'll do is find the least common denominator. The least common denominator is the smallest number that both 3 and 5 will divide into. For 3 and 5, the least common denominator is 15. So now we have to think about what times 3 gave us 15. 5 times 3 is 15. Whatever I multiply my denominator by, I multiply the numerator by the exact same number. 29 times 5 is 145. 5 times 3 is 15, so I'll also multiply 34 times 3, which is 102. So now I'm subtracting 145 minus 102. This gives us 43 with a denominator of 15. So the improper fraction form of our answer is 43 over 15. Now that we have the answer to our last problem, which was 43 over 15, this was an improper fraction. We're going to change the improper fraction into a mixed number. To do this, we have to remember to determine how many times the denominator will divide into the numerator evenly. If you are using a calculator, this is the whole number part of a decimal number. This will also be the whole number part of the mixed number. Then we'll multiply this whole number and the denominator. The answer we will subtract from the numerator. What so again, we'll place the remaining value over the original denominator. Once again, we'll place the remainder over the original denominator. 
So we have 43 over 15. We'll take 15, divide into 43. 15 will divide into 43 two times evenly. Two times 15 is 30. We'll subtract 30 from 43. We have 13. Two is our whole number of the mixed number. 13 will be the numerator. So our mixed number will be 2 and 13 over 15.